Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your July 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How did we get into July almost? It's just crazy to me, but here we go again and I'm glad to be doing it with all of you. This will be the theme for today's reading brought to you by the Edgar Casey Inspirational Quotes deck. Infinite love is the love of God. Now you can substitute the word universe there or whatever you like to call this cosmic consciousness that we're all a part of. We come here as souls to grow, expand, to learn, to explore, and also to uplift and dance around with the other souls around us. So infinite love is the love of God. Let's ask the tarot now. What guidance do you have for Virgo, please? What does Virgo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Virgo? Messages for Virgo, please. Detailed Celtic cross style reading today. And then we'll follow this up with a couple of different oracle cards. Your current situation is the king of wands. The immediate influence is the world. I like that. You have strength in your subconscious. The Page of Cups is in the distant past. The Ace of Wands in the more recent past. The Eight of Swords is coming towards you. You've got the Eight of Cups in, in representing you. The Nine of Wands is the person or situation you're attracting. The Five of Wands is in your hopes and fears. Six of Cups is in the outcome. Now, the bottom of the deck here, we've got the Magician, the Ten of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Now, what I get with this before I get into talking about the cards that are here, is if it's something with a job, I feel like you're going to move on. There may It feels like they're going to make it worth your while to move on, okay? I feel like if it's a, a company or something that's attracting you, they've been through it like they don't have enough employees or they need someone with your skill set. There's something about this. There is a little bit of this challenging energy or even if it's something where you're trying to get out of a lease of some sort or get, you know, you've re done something with a vacation and it feels like you've been locked in. I do feel like you're going to find the solution. It works out happily ever after in the end. The outcome is one of the fairy tale cards of the deck. So I definitely like that. I like this too, because this is the immediate influence on your current situation. But isn't this great? Okay. This is like, if you've been jammed by something, you've been locked down by something, I feel like this is freedom. This is the answer you need to make things move forward to allow you to be released because I do get this sort of released kind of energy. Now, even if you're in a relationship, if there's something plaguing that relationship because it feels like something heavy and burdensome around you, I do see you resolving that with the Six of Cups, getting back to center, getting back into the place where you say, this is why we're two souls rolling around here together. This is what we came here to do and being in a place of recommitting. But some of you too, if it's a new love and you say, no, I cannot go back with the old one at nine of wanded me, I can't do that. I feel like with this, you're going to have somebody who doesn't do that. All right. Whatever it is, the outcome is beautiful. So with the, I do want to say though, you do have re reunion here a couple of times with the three of cups, the six and the 10 of cups. So the cards don't lie. And I don't want to just omit that because it's not everyone's favorite. And I understand, I don't know who you're dealing with on the other side of it. Sometimes they do poke into the reading. I mean, we can get that, but with this, what an empowering phase. This is dominion. It's perfection. It's every single thing that you would want to have in your life. Now, the magician, too, is a card of new ideas, growth, expansion. But he is a bit careful. He does tell us we want to be careful about sometimes, you know, we... we express ourselves to others and they can express their opinions to us and it layers in their own bias. We don't want that, okay? Because this is like, hey, you're doing it. You're making it. You're going to move forward here. And we don't want somebody that likes to play the devil's advocate. I don't find that to be a charming trait at all or a helpful one either. It's like, what would be the purpose of that? Where did that even come from anyway? Here, let me introduce fear into your thinking. Why would anyone do that? So I do feel like with this, it's easy, it's clean, it's free, and it's moving forward. Now, with that Ten of Cups, it can be subjective. So if it is something, like I said, 
getting out of like a vacation situation where perhaps you, you know, you said, hey, I had insurance that allows me to cancel. I found something else that's better or the timing's not quite right. I'd like to move my trip to here, that sort of thing. I do feel like you're going to navigate that just fine, that it's somewhere in your paperwork and contract. And you're going to be glad you did it later. You're going to be glad that you had that extra insurance. I also feel like, though, if it is some sort of a lease, like on a car or a home or something, that you may find someone who can help you out and understand it and navigate it so that there's freedom. That's what it's about. Now, ultimately, with love, your heart will sing with this. It really is two people who bring a lot to the table, even if it's a relationship that you're in that's had some troubled waters. I do see this as getting back to center, back to why are we in this in the first place kind of energy. Why? What did we come together here to do? So you have three major arcana here. You have fire, quite a bit of fire, water, air, and you have technically all the elements represented in the magician. But with this, here we go. Now, the King of Wands is a very empowered, powerful energy, almost to the point where he almost can be a bit domineering if we're not careful with him. But with the world there, that is the essence of everything beautiful in life. And so it kind of keeps that King of Wands fiery energy a bit in check, and it helps to balance it out so that it's more of an uplifter, go-getter, get-it-done kind of energy. Now, if it is a job search that you've been on or you've been feeling trapped in a job and feeling like, I hate it here, but I can't quit because I don't have another job, here's the other job right here. But the world energy, it is a card of travel, but it also can be moving. And so it may be time to look at some other things because especially with this Eight of Cups here, he's not limited. He moves on. He moves on into what suits him. And so there's something about this hero's journey here that shows up. Now, the world energy is one of expansion, growth, but it's celebration. It's freedom. It's a life without limits. So if there's been some sort of governor over your life where you feel like I just can't seem to get past that, even if it's something with the physical body, I feel like we, again, we don't use tarot for medical advice, but if there is been some, has been something that's been holding you back, I feel like you're finally going to be released. And this is where you shoot up like a rocket. That king of wands can't sit still. He loves to make progress. He loves to make gains. And with the world, there's nothing stopping you. And so you'll find that you attract helpful people. You have the right situation at the right time. Your timing is impeccable to move everything forward. And if it is a love relationship, it is a love that comes that I hear is unfiltered. Okay, whatever that means, it's, there's nothing about it that feels fake or even even the earnestness that sometimes people can bring into a relationship that can kind of get it off balance. It feels beautifully balanced. And so you have the affinity symbol here in the world, but you have it here too, and you have it here as well. Three out of the four cards, 75% of the cards that have the infinity symbol in the reading tell you that you, you're you're connecting with infinite possibilities. So you're harnessing the energy and power that creates worlds here. So even the smallest of things, acknowledge them. Okay, all the wins that you get on a daily basis. Sometimes when we get a little down, it's hard to see all the wins, but you've got them here. And it's the universe saying, you who I'm here for you. I want to help you. I want to help guide you and bring you to beautiful higher heights. And it's right here. So with the strength card, I do feel like you've overcome something. Your patience, your persistence, your I'm not going to give up energy. Even if that means that along the way, perhaps you've lost a few that were with you who would give you that devil's advocate kind of stuff. And you said, I just can't keep them that close to me because it brings me down. And so I feel like with this, you're, you're finding your way, but you're doing it in your own way. Now, this energy too, it also helps you get that second wind. So if you, again, were on a job hunt or a housing hunt and you got a bit of a detour, I feel like it's home sweet home you're walking right into in this outcome. Pleasantville is what I call that Six of Cups card. And it's all doing this, okay? It's using some finesse. It's using an attitude of gratitude and seeing what you have. And so you might have something here too, like I hear a trick up your sleeve. It reminds me of Rocky and Bullwinkle, the cartoon where you find some skill set, you find something where you say, yep, that's what this situation needed. A dose of compassion, a dose of just patience, whatever it is, it's here and it's coming from you. So the page of cups 
in the distant past. This is a card of romance and sweetness and communication. So even if you're single and you had somebody a while ago who reached out to you, I feel like they're going to come in for a second helping. They're going to want to reach back out to you again. Or even if you connected with somebody and you've thought about them ever since, I feel like you're going to have a period where you reconnect with them. Or it's a, if it's a relationship that you're in, because you've got struggle in here, in this little geographic location right there. Um, so it shows that there's real love here, that there's something special and important here in this reading. The Page of Cups, though, brings in enthusiasm, optimism, hope, and joy. He's very romantic energy. He's one that likes to do for others. So even if you're looking at, you know, the relationship and say, where did we leave that that energy of doing for one another, helping one another? Where did that go? Um, I feel like you're going to find it again. Now, if it's if it's something, something that you saw that made you want to leave a current relationship and you're saying, no, what's done is done, then you have somebody coming in with Six of Cups energy, a new one. That you'll say, well, I'm glad I I'm glad I ended that because if I was still in it, I wouldn't go off with my six of cups. So the ace of wands is that exciting, magical new beginning. We love the ace of wands. It can be an apology coming forward too. So those of you that are are navigating a tough time in a relationship, I do feel like you're gonna be able to work that out. I just I keep getting that, so I do want to acknowledge it. But two, if it was something where you had to hit the pause button on a career move or moving or even a business you were starting, if you got off on the bat, wrong foot with an algorithm, let me tell you, that can be difficult to overcome. And you said, I had to scrap it and do a new project because there were some things I didn't know about this. I feel like with this Ace of Wands, you're going to get off to a flying start. You're going to get off to a beautiful start. And so it makes you want to do more of it. When we see little bits of progress, enough gain that motivates you, you've got it and you've got it right here. So this Eight of Swords, I feel like this energy is, is showing that there's something around you that is keeping you a bit stuck. It can be too many people too. So if you do have that devil's advocate, because that doesn't come into the reading much, we might need to disconnect from them because it may be bringing you down. There's something about too many people chiming in. Why would you want to do that kind of stuff? And it's like, well, because it's my life, maybe I just don't want to talk with you about certain topics if that's going to be the, you know, the critical response. Um, but it's also too much thinking. So allowing people to negate you, do you just let them make you greater? All right, you just move on. You keep going on and say, you know, I've got one life here and I'm going to make it the best life I can. And so what becomes from an eight of swords is an eight of cups. You see, they turn their back. He turns his back. He wears the red robe of desire that you see in the magician energy. And he moves forward towards his hopes, dreams, his vision. He's not going to let anybody stop him. Okay, so even if you opened up a business and you had to change locations, you know what? That's how it is. You saw something better for yourself. You had a vision and you said, I feel the pull, the magnetism. If it's a, in terms of love too, though, it is about moving on to higher love. It is on to moving on to something better. Now, this nine of wands, he's managed to navigate his way through those wands. It's been a test. It's been a trial, but it's made him stronger. It's made him thicker. It's made him bigger. And so I do feel like whatever it is, you've learned what you've needed to from it and you're going to move on. Now, their hopes and fears has five of wands. This chaotic energy is like the last thing on your list that you want back into your life. And so I feel like it really is about divorcing your thoughts from negative things. If you have something that comes into your awareness, just don't dwell upon it. Brush it off. Flick it off like an ember from a fire before it burns a hole into your fabric. Because with the Six of Cups, you have something better coming in. There's a sweetness here. There's a beauty here. There's a return to trust, a return to love. It's living in a fairy tale, but it's not a, just a dream. It's reality. And so with this, it's really walking into the best possible situation, receiving people in the best possible place that you could be receiving them from. So now we'll hear from the Whispers of Love. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. So if you are, are not fully committed to the idea of love, if you're a bit skeptical, we got to get clear because we'll get what we ask for. And if it's a mix, we'll keep getting a mix. You have the card of the mountain from the Fortune Oracle. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. You keep moving forward. Virgo, good things are on the way for you. I love you and I'll be back again soon.